just tore it up the stage. Thank you, Jacques, as a fellow Jacques, you know, yeah. what was it like to also rock on that stage today? It was crazy. It felt good. You know what I'm saying? I brought my homie TK Kravitz out. Um, you know what I'm saying? We rocked the stage. This was my first time. You know what I'm saying? So it was just, it was it was legendary. Honestly, I feel like like the people loved me. Like, they was going crazy. It was crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. I was there. Oh, I was yeah. on stage. As soon as I heard Jacques' beat come out, I'm like, I got to go. Oh, I yeah. got to go. I'm Yo, you were yeah, geeking about you. it. What's your favorite Jacques song? <laughs> Yo, it's too many to count. Um, Met her at the club. Yeah. yeah. Bed. Yeah. Trip. I like when you cover a trip. But Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. For real. I appreciate it. So you just put out Let's Not Fall in Love with Cody Shane Yeah. back in August. What was it like working with Cody? Uh, it was super dope working with Cody. Um, big shout out to Cody Shane. You know what I'm saying? R.P. Matty P. You know, that was our manager that just passed. Um, you know, we was just, you know, Cody my homie, so it's super cool to work with her. You know what I'm saying? I know her moms, her sisters. Mm -hmm. You know, she my little homie. Like, she's super talented. She's full of energy. Like, if you be around Cody, she just, she like one of them type of people from, like, back in the day. You feel me? Like, yeah. she still got that energy. Like, she ain't got internet energy. She got internet she got, energy. She got real, real energy. You Can feel you me? Can you actually explain internet energy for me? Like, like, internet energy is, like, people that, people that feel like they sum off the internet because of the internet. You got feel you. Me? It's like, we was neighborhood superstars. You feel me? Word. People actually liked us in real life. Yeah, you feel me? I was cool before the gram, like, before the internet. Like, I watched the internet come up. You feel me? I remember when I had to buy AOL and dial up. <laughs> yeah. in, in this age, though, I do feel like we have a lot of internet stars, you know, with social media. Like, you can literally Twitter fingers all day. I ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, when people try to discredit the people that got it, like, the 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 other way. I ain't gonna say the real way because this the new real way. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm saying the other way. You still gotta respect the, the street way. Definitely. Like the handing outs and the passing outs and the pull ups. You feel me? I I do understand what you mean though because in some ways it can come off a little hollow, right? right. When you're saying like the pull ups, because if you ain't doing the pull ups, if you ain't doing the workouts, when you actually get to the game, you may have some flash, but there's not you know a lot saying? of there there. Right. You know. And well, shout out to everybody doing it, cause I got a yeah. lot of I got a lot of my staying from the internet too. A lot of my fans came from the internet. You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah. Which is me as a person. That's what I mean. Got you. Like I'm, I ain't build my character off the internet. You know what I'm saying? So 2022 is coming up, and maybe people always talk New Year's resolutions, and you were just mentioning you as a person. So what is something you as a person are trying to improve in Ooh, coming to New deep. Year? Um, better decisions, man. You know what I'm saying? Better decision making. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, decisions is everything. You know, one bad decision could lead to the failure of everything. So I just feel like I gotta just be a better decision maker. Do you have people in your life helping you make better decisions? Yeah, definitely. I have a whole team of people that inspire me and encourage me to make better decisions. But you know how you could be inspired living this life and <laughs> yeah, doing, uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I Temptation mean, of motherfucker. You know it's what I'm hard saying? to be humble when you're starting on a jumbotron. You know what I mean? You feel me? <laughs> and it ain't even about being humble. It's more so about temptation. Yeah. yeah. How, so how do you stay? How do you stay humble? How do you stay grounded in um, you know I, like reality sometimes? Oh, uh, cause I'm I'm real close with my family. I feel like okay. they grounded. Like my mama, my mama gonna keep me grounded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 27 years old. Okay. You feel me? Okay. So it's like my family. They they real tight on me. You feel me? And my friends. You feel me? And my team. Yeah. But my mama more than anybody. That's like cool. mom dudes ain't going. So 20, 27 years old. King of R&B. Yeah. King of R&B. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> with that title comes a lot of big responsibility. Yeah. A lot of big responsibility. What do you have to say to people who, you know, may have something conflicting against that statement? Because there's a lot of there's a lot of you know dope people in R&B. But what makes you the king? I said king of my generation. You know, I just king feel like generation. that. You know what I'm saying? Because I just I've been at it for a long time. You know, I've been at this for a long time. Like from mixtape days to now. Like it's a whole generation of kids that um, grew up and people that's adults now that grew up with me. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, these people got their favorite artists. You see what I'm saying? Like they had me, you feel me? <laughs> so I'm, I'm what they had. Like when they think back to when they six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all through high school, proms, 